Hey, my first trim of No Shave November and a tribute shave to Matt Hilton. Please don't miss it. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Um, this is a special shave today and I get to get rid of some of this. We're um, uh, midway through November, uh, no shave November, which I've been doing for prostate cancer awareness. Um, and I've got some new stuff to show you. Um, actually, I've got a lot of, actually I have Almost everything that I have is new to show you. Um, so I'm glad you tuned in for this one. So got an Ender's Speed Razor. This is the first one that I've ever had. I've always looked at these, but I've never been able to find one as economical as I wanted to, and I found one on eBay. Um, so this takes a proprietary blade, um, which I, I don't have right here, but anyway, um, you'll be able to get an idea of what it looks like from the adapter. Um, I've gotten, I've got an, I got an adapter from Hendrix, um, Cl Hendrix Classics, um, and so it will make a, an injector blade work in this. Boy, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while, can't you? Uh, it's been a few weeks now, so I'm rusty. All right, so anyway, this is going to be my uh, weapon of the day. This is the adapter here, um, and I've put an injector blade right on it. It's got magnets on the back of it that hold it in place um, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, new brush today aka beautiful and uh, AP Shave Co G5C that I've loaded into it. There's the new aka coin which is great. Um, they were on um, the Razor Company, AKA, was on the Razor Company last night for a live, um, and they did a great job. It was very nice to meet them um, and kind of see what they're about. Um, so anyway, those are the first things I've got. Aftershave. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The um, Caldy Island Lavender, that Reserve Lavender from Barrister Man is based off of. Um, my soap today brand new to me. Thank you very much, Pete. Um, so Pete at Hendrix, um, I bought the, uh, the Enders adapter from him and he threw in some goodies and this is one of the goodies. Um, and I had wanted to get this before. This is based off of, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, Le Mail. Um, and so I, that will be my soap. And then my scent of the day, not the same, um, but Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Mail. Look at that unit. <laughs> anyway, a little different scent, but, you know, obviously the same kind of base to it. So this is what I am working with today. Um, I'll show you how the speed razor works. Um, so it's got these little tips on the side that catch um, right here on each side. I'm not flipping you off, sorry. Um, they catch right here on both sides, um, as you can see there. So it's got um, two magnets on the back, and that hold that holds the injector blade. So this is an injector blade, and my injector blade was just a touch too wide um, to be able to go into the razor itself. So I just took a Dremel and took off just the very tips of it. Uh, but anyway, it's magnetic, so you just pop it on there you can see it and then just kind of line it up um, and then it just snaps into the back of this um, I'll, I'll try and show this to you I, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but anyway you just slide it into the back here and then you hear that snap it just snaps in all right so that's both sides snapped in and then you can see how it looks here after being assembled Obviously, never tried one of these before, but um, I've wanted to. So, Matt Hilton, um, unfortunately, passed a couple of years ago um, way too young. Um, and he was, one of the, he was one of the best descriptive writers um, that I've seen 
in this community, probably the best descriptive writer um, in this community. And he influenced me very much. And he and I, um, you know, had some messages back together, you know, no big meaningful relationship, but, you know, we had some messages together and stuff and, you know, discussed a few things. And anyway, um, Ender Speed Racers were one of his favorites. Um, and that's, that's who I learned about these from. And I finally got a chance to get one. Um, so I thought that I would try and posthumously, um, honor him by shaving with a, an Ender Speed Razor. Um, and it's kind of earlier in the day, so I'm not really drinking, but, um, I do want to, I do want to have a toast to him. This is a half shot here of, um, Evan Williams bottled in bond. So cheers to you, Matt. Um, I hope you're enjoying heaven. You're a good dude. And I saved the last touch to pour out for him. I know, I know it's tough to do that, but really nice guy. Um, really sorry that he's gone. Um, anyway, there's a lot of stuff that his wife uh, generously sent to, I say generously, I mean, she got some money back for it, but um, she sent a bunch of stuff to Murphy, McNe Murphy and McNeil. Um, they're a used marketplace. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, for sale, obviously, um, and I'm hoping to get one of his speed razors. Um, it would mean a lot to me to have one. So um, after this video, I'm going to go there and I'm going to start looking for one and see if they have any um, and maybe message if I can't find something. But anyway, um, I encourage you to um, to go to Murphy McNeil and see if there's some things. I, it's a special collection that's set up. Um, so if there's anything that you like, um, you know, it, it's honoring Matt um, and it's something to help his wife after he's gone too. So I hope that you will consider doing that. Okay, a uh, whole lot of talking and not a lot of shaving yet. So you can see there's a little bit of growth here. So essentially what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kind of shape up here. Um, and then I usually go to like just above my Adam's apple or my Brandon's apple. Um, and then just kind of go straight across and then kind of take the corner off right there just so there's not an, um, an abrupt cut there. Um, I like to just kind of round off the edge. So that's what we're going to try to do here today. Um, this is a Persona blade. It's called uh, Ted Pella, um, but it's just a rebranded Persona injector blade. So that's what I'll be using today. Obviously, I've never used these before, so... I don't know what the angle's like. I, I don't really know anything about it, except that I think that they're super cool looking um, in the Bakelite. This is, from what I from what I researched, this is a 1930s because um, this part right here is rounded. They call it the half moon. Um, and the other one has got like, you know, it's like boxed off. Um, so I think this is a 1930s Bakelite. I didn't even know they were doing Bakelite in 1930s. But anyway, that that's what my research is. Maybe I'm wrong. If you, if you know better than I do, um, then please, um, comment there. Okay. Le Mafioso. I've got it soaking. This is a hard soap. And so it's been soaking in warm water. Oh, I don't have any. Do I really need bougie water? Do I need bougie water? Yeah, come on. I can't cheat you guys. I haven't seen you in like three weeks now, so I guess I'll do this right. I hope everyone has been healthy out there, uh, safe, all of that good stuff. Um, my house has been pretty healthy, so I'm um, very uh, thankful for that. Beautiful, beautiful brush here. So get a little water on it, squeeze it out, and let's get loading. Um, hard soap, so I will load for a bit here. Um, I did soak it in hot water, so it's not like it's going to be super hard anymore. There's going to be that top layer that should be pretty easy to remove um, and get into this brush. So just giving her a rub down. I'm excited to try this uh, G5C knot from um, AP Shade Co. I looked, I looked at all of them. Maybe not all of them, but close to all of them. Um, and I finally settled on this one. Um, this is stupid, but I, it took me a while to settle on this one because it was only 20 bucks. It just seemed like 20 bucks, you know, everyone's talking about how great this knot is, but I'm like, if it's so great, why is it only 20 bucks? Um, I know, 
Um, but anyway, all right, there's a lot there. Um, so it took me a while to settle on this one, uh, but um, I ended up doing it. You know, I consulted a lot of uh, my friends in the community. Um, and everyone says it's not as great. So that's what I ended up going with. And we will see how it how it does. I can tell you that it's got some nice backbone. Um, and it looks like it's got, I mean, to my hand anyway, it looks like really, really soft tips. Uh, but there's some substance to it. It's not floppy. Um, they say to set it low, um, to set it higher than you typically would because there's a lot of backbone to it. Um, and so I did, um, and it turned out lucky that the AKA brush that I got was not bored very deep at all. Um, so the knot actually just barely fit in there, which is actually absolutely perfect because I was going to put some coins or spacers down in there, um, to try and, um, lift up the knot, um, to make it higher before, uh, putting epoxy to epoxy it in. Um, and so anyway, um, it, it worked out perfectly. If I had needed something that was needed to be set deeper, I would have been in trouble with this handle because it definitely was a shallow um, a shallow indentation there. I know I'm just shaving just this little part and this here, but you know, I want this. I've been wanting to shave for so long. Plus, even with beard oil, my skin's been a little bit dry. Um, and this will help with that as well. I'll get the conditioning of the soap and after shaving all that. And then I'll show you my beard care afterwards. I mean, I think you can call this a beard, can't you? I think so. It's not like it's grown in like a 12 year old. But I've been looking forward to this, but I wanted to wait. I, you know, social media, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. I know people are like, oh, you just, you know, you put a video in every two, every two you know, two every week or whatever. Um, you know, it can't take that much time. Um, but it does. You know, number one, you got to figure out what you're going to do. You got to get a picture of what you're doing. Um as far as hardware, software wise, um, you need to get scent notes. Speaking of, La Mail is, um, it's like cardamom heavy. Um, and then the middle is lavender. Um, and then there's some vanilla. Um, what else is in there? I can't remember, but anyway, it's a, it's definitely cardamom heavy, which is, right up my wheelhouse. Don't touch my wheelhouse. You're not putting anything up my wheelhouse. Stop playing around. I'm trying to do a shave here. It's a family show. Um anyway, oh iris as well. It's kind of it's kind of got that lipstick iris to it like um Dior Ohm. Um which do our own when it came out kind of like dominated as far as the, you know, the iris note. Um, and there are a lot of other fragrances that came out with iris after that, you know, not as dupes, but, you know, as kind of different takes on that iris note. Because, you know, the, the iris note is typically not a, you know, typically not a male note. If you want to, if you want to, uh, assign gender to sense, um, you know, it, it hadn't been done a lot in male sense. Uh, anyway, a great note. I love it. Uh, Dior Ohm is one of my favorites. Uh, it's unfortunate that they came out with a new Dior Ohm that does not have iris in it. Like, how can you even do that? I don't know. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. Um, but I haven't done this for a while. Uh, and I miss doing it. I did take some time off. Um, once again, talking about doing the videos and social media and stuff, you know, I mean, you got to put these videos together. Um, you got to title them. You got to tag them. You got to put in hyperlinks for whatever, 
whatever you need. Then, you know, after it's loaded up, which takes a while, then you got to get on to social media. You got to promote it. So you got to throw links here, 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 here. You got to get it on Instagram. Uh, you got to do a story with it. You got to do, you know, <clears throat> whatever else. But anyway, it, it takes a good amount of time to do this. And, you know, you can get burnout. Um, I, I'm, I'm not burned out. I'm, I'm not. That's probably not a good worry, but you need a chance to relax. Um, and I've taken this time as a chance to relax, grow my facial hair, and kind of disconnect from social media. I mean, for those of you that follow me, you know, I'm still there, but, you know, I haven't done as much as I normally do. I've just been taking some time for myself, some time to relax. All right, this is super shiny. Look at that, it's got a ton of water in it. So I think we're done there. Got a nice little bit of that in my mouth. Not terrible. It kind of tastes like cardamom, honestly. So that's that gets a pretty favor, favorable um, score on the tasteometer, um, I'm going to give that, I'm going to give that a 5.5. .5, and that is, that is extreme. I, I don't know if I've ever given a 5.5 .5 before on the tasteometer. Um, but this one is pretty good. It's not, it's not bitter at all. I, you know, I don't recommend eating your soap, but you know, when you talk in lather, it's probably going to happen. So, all right. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I didn't know beforehand. So, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. All right, this is the top of my Brandon's apple right here. So we're gonna draw a line. I don't know if it's even or not, who cares? It really doesn't matter. I just need to get some something off of my, a little bit off of my neckline right here where uh, my necktie is daily um, at work. <clears throat> so, okay. Are we ready? I mean, I'm ready. Are you ready? All right. I'll wait until you figure it out. Whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. So, here we go. Ender Speed Razor. No idea what this is going to be like. But I'll start on my Adam's apple, my Brandon's apple. So, you know, if it's bad, I'll just rip and we should see a bunch of blood and it'll be awesome. All right. Very easy to find that angle. Um, it's basically like most single edges, you know, put this basically right up against your skin um, and go at it. And that was quite a bit of growth there. I mean, I don't know if you can see there, but there's quite a bit of hair there. It's pretty long. I'll tell you, enjoying shaving as much as I do. This is kind of like um, going through Lent for shavers um, and not shaving. You know, where you have to give up something. That's what I feel like here. Good thing I don't give up bad jokes or I'd be in trouble. All right, so there's a good first pass there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and, no, I'm not going to. All right, so I'm gonna wash this off, which will still leave a lot of slickness, uh, but I'll be able to see the line here in order to make that better, uh, because I want to be able to lather up again. So, all right. So I'm just going to take this off. This is this is way more than being just about um, lining things up. This is being able to enjoy what I do, enjoy my um, kind of self-help routine if you want to call it that 
I don't know if you want to call it that, but I do. That's why I just called it that. Oh. All right, but so I'm just going to continue taking this off where I can see the line that I want to get. Okay, I think that's good enough. So now there's still there's still plenty of slickness that left. This is actually a really nice soap. I've not used Hendrix Classics before. Uh, but this is very nice. I mean, it's got really good slickness. Um, great scent on this. Nice, you know, stronger scent. Um, a little over medium. Uh, very nice job, Pete. All right, so I'm just going to, you know, kind of line this up now. Speed Racer is pretty cool. I like it. I'm not going to be taking off a ton here. Just want to kind of get the scragglies off. And clean up on the temple hairs. Stone temple hairs. I would call it that if I was a pilot, but I'm not a pilot. Any of you that don't know what I'm talking about, whatever. It's a band, Stone Temple Pilots, man. Come on. All right. Not going to take too much off here. Just a little bit to get a little more defined line. Looks a little less scraggly, and I think that looks pretty good. Mm, here we go. This is really hard to judge, and I'm not a judge. As a matter of fact, I've never been in the jury either. Mm, whatever. All right. Get rid of this hair and we'll start again. That's some really long hairs in the sink. All right, let's do this again. Mm, really nice scent, really nice soap base. Thank you very much, Pete. I really appreciate it. Pete and I have been talking a lot lately um, on social media. He's active in my health journey. For those of you that know, he likes to check in on me, and I appreciate that very much. I'm okay. For those of you that, that know that I have some autoimmune diseases, um, I've got some new... Some new medicine that is um, is making positive effects right now, um, and it shows up in my my blood work as well. So I'm very happy about that, um, and thank you for all of those uh, that have reached out to me. I really appreciate it. You know, no one likes to go through anything alone, um, and I appreciate it. Actually, you know, let's go side to side. I got time. Do you have time? I'll be the only dude that can take a beard trim and make it last over 30 minutes. I haven't done a video in a while and I'm really glad to be back. I don't know how many... Um, shaves I'll get in before the end of November, but I mean, it probably won't be very many. All right. Really nice lather. Really, really good stuff. I don't know why I haven't previously tried Hendrix Classics. There's just so much stuff out there and I have so much stuff that it's hard to Really hard to justify buying 
more software or hardware at this point. Boy, after cleaning stuff up, it makes makes the hair look even longer and grayer. <laughs> but I don't know if it can look much grayer. You know, at this point, I if this part right here, I mean, there's blonde in there too, but, you know, if this part here and this, um, and this would just turn completely gray, that would be fine. You know, I'm fine with it all being one color. But it's kind of weird being red and brown and gray and blonde. We don't stay young forever. Mm. Really, really nice scent. And you know that I love cardamom, so this is this is my stuff. This is my jelly, or my preserves, my jam, you know, whatever, whatever you like. It's not about me, this is about you, you know, whatever you like. You can say I haven't talked to myself in a little bit. It's a really nice razor to use. Thoroughly enjoying it. Matt. I love you, brother. I expect to see you at the pearly gates when it's my time. Wish you'd gotten to stay around. God has plans. We don't know what they are. We just have to trust. And that's all you can do. Sorry, you guys can't see anything, can you? That looks great. That looks great. All right. Get this off of my face. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Channel is still continuing to grow even while I wasn't making videos. So thank all of you very much. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Looks pretty symmetrical to me. pretty good and we got some of the junk off up here so that's great all right so after shave and it's got a um it's got a spray top but i don't really like doing the spray top so i just take the top out and woo, and throw too way too much in my hands <laughs> oh well mmm lavender This is alcohol based. Jason at the razor company was kind enough to gift this to me. Thank you so much, dude. I can't wait to see you one day. So now I just twist the top back on. I mean, I'm sure you never figured that I would do that. I mean, who would put the top back on? You just leave it open and let it all evaporate. It'd be the smart thing to do. All right, so 
What are we gonna do for Bomb? We'll just hang on. All right, so we got Bomb. But first, I want to get um, some beard oil into the beard. Um, and I've still got some, um, I've still got some moisture here, uh, which works better with this. But anyway, this is the beard elixir from Zingari. And so this is how much I use. So I push, let go. It doesn't fill the pipette, but this is how much I use. It kind of looks like a lot, but it's, but it's super, super, um, I mean, almost watery there. I mean, look at that. It's like super, super light. It's so good. Extra light, not heavy, greasy. I mean, it just kind of soaks right in. It does give you a little sheen on the beard, um, but I don't feel oily at all. I know it's beard oil. It should feel oily. I don't feel greasy. I don't feel overly oiled. Mm. That's great stuff. And it really softens the beard. I did a, a social media post yesterday with like, with this acting like it was super itchy. It's not really super itchy. That was just for fun. Just because, you know, so many people go through the, the beard itch. Um, when they're not used to growing facial hair. Um, and so it's, it's really not like that. I don't like it. I don't like having facial hair on. I certainly prefer um, a freshly shaved, shaven face. Um, but it's not bad. All right. So there we go. And then I will add holy cow, bare naked balm after that to take care of the rest of my skin. And a couple of pumps. And I can add that on the top of this as well. Mm. I know I didn't shave much, but this really does feel nice. It feels nice having a defined line there. I don't know why, but it does. Ah, oh, so nice. And then I just kind of rub the balm into my fingers. It's really good. Very nice and moisturizing. And then I think this is my wife's favorite for me. Probably. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. I will be the Ultra Male in just a minute. Mm. Six sprays of this stuff. It's like unprecedented. The world's going to be smelling me and they're going to love it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I didn't even mention uh, tonight is the uncorking with BBS Live, me, and um, Caleb Ellsworth from uh, Ellsworth Razor Co. Um, so please join us. We are uncorking bullet tenure. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. It'll be nine o'clock Eastern, um, you know, or a different time for those of you that don't live in the best time zone. So please join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you again for joining me. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.